Here's five travel calls that everyone, or at least a lot of people, get wrong. All this is being based on NBA and FIBA rules. They actually have a lot of the same rules, but you gotta keep in mind at youth league level, even high school, sometimes the refs aren't always gonna be really well trained. They're just gonna go on what they think, you know, everyone knows as the rules, which sometimes gets a little bit less detailed. So the first thing a lot of people get wrong is how they count the steps as far as when the dribble has ended. And that comes to the first thing, the zero step. Some people go too crazy with thinking you can get away with anything with it. And some people don't even like to acknowledge it. I think if you hear me out on this, a lot of people can understand why the gather step exists and why it's probably an okay thing, but that's for you to determine. This applies on layups. This applies on step backs like James Harden does. You name the move, the zero step rule I'm gonna give you here applies. What a lot of people think is that no matter what, but your first step doesn't count, and that is considered your zero or gather step. Meanwhile, other people think that there should be no zero step whatsoever. You just get two clean steps. One step basketball is in both hands, you get two steps. And the answer lies somewhere in between. And the best way to think about this with your steps will actually help you with a lot of the other travel rules I'm gonna talk about in the rest of this video. And a step is basically once a foot hits, not once a foot is already down. So that's basically what your zero step is. If you have your dribble going, you pick it up, and this foot is already down, that is a zero or a gather step. However, if I'm like in midair gather and then this foot lands, that's not a zero step because I gathered before the foot landed. That's my one step. This would be two, that would be three. Which brings us to the next thing about pivots. Okay, here's one I used to get wrong for years when I was younger because this is what I was always taught by coaches and refs. And it's that you cannot lift your pivot foot. That is actually not true. Think about this, on a layup, you're gonna gather the basketball one step. That, in a lot of people's book, would be a pivot foot, correct? Well, if you take step two and jump, you just lifted your pivot foot. And we all know that is completely legal. So a lot of people get this wrong also. If you pivot on this foot back here and come here, do whatever, right? And then lift it to go up for a layup, a lot of people say that you can't do that. They say you have to jump off both feet at the same time, but that's not true once again. The rule is if I lift my pivot foot, once it touches the ground again, if I still have the basketball in my hands, now it is a travel. And that comes back to what we talked about a little bit ago is once a foot hits, that is a step. Therefore, one, two, keep my pivot foot. I can do whatever I want, whatever I want, whatever I want. I can take a million steps with this foot. We all know that, but I can also lift this foot and it's still not gonna be a travel as long as I get rid of the basketball with a shot, layup, pass. If I don't get rid of it and bring that foot back down, now it's a travel. The next thing a lot of people get wrong is when the dribble has been considered picked up. But to actually fully understand that, let's first talk about something that some people get wrong. I've been seeing on videos lately. I never really heard anyone start to get this wrong until recently. But a lot of people think when you're dribbling, you have limited steps. They think if I'm dribbling, I can take only two steps per dribble or that when the basketball is in my hand, I can only take two steps or that I can't lift a pivot foot or that I can't hop and land with both feet. You can do literally anything you want with your feet. You can take a million steps, lift your pivot foot, jump up and down, doesn't really matter while the dribble is live and legal. That's an important distinction. Some people will comment sometimes on my video saying, well, you could just palm the basketball and run forever. No, you couldn't because that would be a palming violation. That being said, if I'm floating the dribble and it's in a legal dribble position, I'm not carrying, I'm not picking the basketball up, I can take any amount of steps, any type of steps I wanna take. And that brings me to the next two things that a lot of people get wrong, which is one, when the dribble is considered dead. The dribble is considered dead and your gather or two steps start once either your hand comes under the basketball, both hands come on the basketball, or if you've palmed the basketball, which I can't right now because my hands are kinda of sweaty. But you do one of those three things, the dribble is over, you get two steps, or if you have a gather down already, two steps from that point, one, two. If I'm in air, one, two, and that's all I'm gonna get. And that brings me to the next thing that doesn't pass the eye test for a lot of people, and a lot of people get wrong, which is that your steps don't count until you have gathered. That means if I'm floating the dribble, taking a whole bunch of steps, none of those steps count until my hand comes under the ball, or both hands come on the basketball. So this doesn't count, doesn't count, now it starts counting, because I picked up the basketball. Or doesn't count, doesn't count, now my hand's under the basketball, now my steps start counting. But everything before this, it's one, two, as I gathered, only took two steps. The steps with the ball floating, 
those do not count and you might wonder why. It's pretty simple. I could take, like we talked about earlier, unlimited steps and then continue my dribble. Therefore, the ref can't really start counting your steps because the ball has not been gathered. The people who are gonna be able to take most advantage of what they can do with their steps are players that have good footwork and especially a good handle. I got a free workout pinned to the top comment that will help you with both those things.